All right, y'all. I have one third cup of butter here. You can do room temperature or melted and one egg. And then to that, you know, actually, yep, yeah, to that we're gonna add one box of yellow cake mix. You can use whatever kind of yellow cake mix you want. We're gonna add the whole box, all right? All right, just like that. And the bag. <laughs> Nothing like a little plastic flavoring. Just kidding, y'all, I'm just kidding. Take a joke, okay? <laughs> so we're just gonna mix this up. Here we go. Okay, all right, y'all, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take we're gonna save some of this, okay? We're gonna save a, my hands are a big mess right now. This is, y'all, this is, I'm having a rough day over here, y'all, just so you know. I got cream cheese on, on my friend Bridgie. I'm just having a rough day. So we're gonna save a little bit of this. We're gonna save about half of this. And then what we're gonna do, I have a grease nine by 13 bacon dish. We're gonna put the rest of this on the bottom, okay? We're gonna spread this out on the bottom, like so. Just kind of crumbly, okay? We just, we just need to, yep, just like that. A little bit like that. All right, and I know it looks weird, y'all, but you're gonna understand this dessert. It's gonna be so good, okay? We wanna get a little bit of crumble on the bottom, and then we're gonna get a little bit um, on the top. We're gonna save the rest. We're gonna put this in the oven for 10 minutes and bake it. All right, y'all, while the crumble's cooking a little bit, here's the next step. Eight ounces of cream cheese, one third cup of sugar, one egg, and then one teaspoon of pure vanilla. That's about a teaspoon, perfect. All right, we're gonna mix this up until it's smooth, all right? So I melted the cream cheese um, in the microwave a little bit just to get it to be uh, easy to mix, okay? And if y'all wanna use an electric mixer, you can, but I just bought one and I'm having some problems with it, okay, y'all? I don't know, it could, be, it could be user error, that's very possible, but I'm just gonna mix this by hand until it's smooth, all right? And then we'll go on to the next step. All right, y'all, so uh, we, this cooked for about 10 minutes at 350, okay? Just, it's kind of like a little crumble. So now we have two cans of peaches here, and I already drained the juice, and if y'all want, you can cut them into bite size, but I like leaving them whole. So we're gonna put two cans of peaches, and y'all also, if you wanna use fresh peaches, you can. Right now, the, I don't have fresh peaches in season, and also, the canned peaches cook much faster, so I just like using the canned peaches. That looks great. So now we're gonna take our mixture. It was our cream cheese, egg, and sugar mixture with the vanilla, and we're just gonna pour this right on top of our peaches. Oh my goodness, y'all, this looks so good so far, don't it? Looks so good, all right. Right on top, just like so. Let me get all this out of here, okay. Let me, let me hold this with my left hand so I can do the spatula with my right hand. I can't do it with both, can y'all? It's hard for me to do it with my left hand, all right. That looks great, y'all, doesn't that look good so far? All right, and now our last step here before we fully cook it, we have a little bit of that, remember that, that mix we already cooked at the bottom, so we have some of it left, so we're just gonna kinda crumble it up and put it right on top of our, of our uh, peaches and our cream cheese mixture, okay? Just kind of in like little balls like that. I think I mixed it too much because it's supposed to be like a crumble topping, but that's okay. It's still gonna be good, y'all, it's gonna be so good. I love cream cheese, I love peaches, and you know what, I love easy dessert hacks like this. Using box cake, there are so many things you can do. Every time I go to the store, I make sure I always get a few packages of yellow box cake because you know what, y'all? It just, it's just amazing to have. You can do so much with it. Okay, so I think that's about good. You know what, we're just gonna use the rest. Why not? I have it right here. All right, y'all, so now all we gonna do here, we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. Y'all are gonna absolutely love this amazing peach cobbler. All right, y'all, here we have our peach cream cheese cobbler. Look how good that looks, y'all. So I'm gonna be honest, I took this out of the oven a while ago because I've been cooking all day. It's one of them days, so it's ready to eat because it's nice and nice and cool. Oh my goodness. And y'all, you can also bake this the night before and then put it in the fridge and it's real good, okay? So let's get some of this out. So remember, we made that crumble topping with the box cake mix and we put some on the bottom and some on the top. But look at that, y'all. Look how good that looks. Those layers, we got the crumble on the bottom and on the top. You can serve this with a little whipped cream or a little ice cream if you want, but you know what? I'm just gonna eat it just like this, y'all, because it's gonna be so good. Remember, we have that cream cheese mixture we put on top, too. I wanna get a little more of that, because that's gonna be the best part. I love cream cheese. Don't y'all love cream cheese? I do. My husband, Fred, doesn't, but I don't know. Something's wrong with him. Nope, don't like it. Mmm. 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 Okay. Y'all, you have to try this. It is so good. 